Good morning. Today we are here at Dollar Tree. We're going to go and check out a lot of the shrinkflated items. A lot of th a lot of things have shrunk in size here at Dollar Tree. We're going to check these out. We're going to check out a lot of the things that you guys have asked about. And I know what you're thinking. Why are we still calling this place Dollar Tree? Not only is most things still a dollar twenty-five, but they have raised a lot of things here. Three, four, five dollar products. We're going to check out some of those items. I haven't been to this Dollar Tree in a while, so I don't know if they've actually switched. I know the one that we usually go to is now the Dollar Tree plus uh, an arm and a leg. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. Dollar and a shrub. What do you call Dollar Tree? Let me know down in the comments. Let's get to it. Yeah, so as soon as I walk into Dollar Tree here, I notice they have a lot of their back to school items. These items I definitely feel are worth $1.25. Maybe want to check these out. Some good deals. Even if you're not going back to school, you can get some good pens for cheap. I think I got a lot of these candles here for $1.25. I don't know if these are really worth it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, these I feel are, and we did get some good comments on these little tea lights. I know the last time I came to Dollar Tree, I was kind of wondering how these work. Got a lot of good comments on them. Good to have if uh, your lights go out. There's been a lot of people talking on the channel, especially the last time we came to Dollar Tree, that they do sell VO5 still here. Some people are saying it's not the same as it used to be. I don't really know. I don't use VO5, but they do have it here. This is still $1.25, and so far I have yet to find any items here that are the $3, $4, or $5. So I don't know if they've switched over yet or not. If they haven't, I'm sure it won't take too long, because it seems like all the other ones around here have. Now, some of these things, uh, like some of the soaps down here, well, if you see how much soap has gone up in the stores, like Kroger and Meyer and even Walmart, I really feel like this is too bad here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yep, see? Now it's one. Remember, guys, this used to be a two-pack. Used to be two. Used to be in a box also. Yep, only one now for $1.25. That is a ripoff. Now Zest is pretty much cheap everywhere, but they do still have the two boxes here of Zest for $1.25. You're not fully clean unless you're Zest fully clean. Remember that commercial? We have noticed that a lot of baby items have shrinkflated. Mostly, I know the one people were talking about was the petroleum jelly. Uh, yes, this is very tiny. Um, $1.25. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That is very small, and I feel like it's even smaller than the eyes can see here. It's only 3.53 ounces for $1.25. I don't feel that is worth it. Uh, stuff like these baby bottle cleaners though and stuff like that, I don't know. This $1.25 for these don't seem like too bad of a deal. A couple little sippy cups here. Diaper rash paste. I don't know how much this stuff is anymore. But it uh, looks like a pretty big tube there for a buck and a quarter. I remember one of our longtime viewers saying that they really liked the Eve's St. Clair um, bubble bath stuff i guess this is the one you were talking about just wanted to point it out so a dollar 25 i don't know i mean i feel like that's worth it some people like these things uh these little scrub things these are all a dollar 25 but we can sometimes find these cheaper i don't know how much cheaper these days but i don't know a fair price i guess i looked over here in the back corner and i saw the laws totally totally awesome bleach here but i noticed that they have like a new advertising on here and i was curious if it was smaller so this is 64 ounces. Let me know down in the comments if you know what this was before. It looks like the same size bottle, but I noticed they did change the advertising. So I don't know. Uh, somebody was asking about great value uh, bleach the other day and if it was good as Clorox. I never used great value bleach, but I wanted to bring that out. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you know. 64 ounces here for this one. I'm pretty sure this is the same size bottle it's always been. I saw a set of hangers at Kroger the other day that was maybe a little bigger than this. I think it was a 10-pack for $4.99. So, uh, yeah, they were like the same hangers, same exact hangers. Um, yeah, definitely a much better deal here. On to the food products. I know this is what everybody wants to see. So, somebody had mentioned that the Deli Market Spicy Brown Mustard used to be 16 ounces. It is now 12, so that has shrinkflated. I do know that the 20 ounce mustard, this is the same as it's always been. Well, okay, so as, as far as long, 
as far back as I've been doing videos to do comparisons, um, they did change the advertising in this, and we do we did know uh, someone had mentioned that this had shrunk when they uh, changed the advertising. This is kind of like a, a gauge that I use to look at, because usually when they change the advertising, something else has changed in it as well. Good deal on the craft uh, sugar, though the brown sugar barbecue sauce. This is still 18 ounces, same as it is Kroger or Meyer. It's pretty much 249 to 299 anywhere unless you find it on sale. It's it's skyrocketed in price. It was a dollar 99 regular price last year. Dollar 25 here, mate. It's a great deal. Uh, they do sell out of this one pretty quickly, so when you see it, I would definitely pick it up. They also have the Bell's olives here. I don't know. Okay. Feels like there's a good amount of olives in there. I shake everything now because I want to make sure there's not so much crazy amount of water. This is six ounces. And let's see. Best if used by uh, August 2nd of 2026. So we got that can be used for some long term storage. So if you're having trouble finding mushrooms, uh, we get good comments on these Pampa mushrooms here. I've actually tried these before. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, I never had any kind of issue with them. Uh, 4.5 ounces. I know it used to be in a it used to be in a slender bottle. Does anybody remember that? It used to be in a taller slender bottle. So I don't know. That probably has shrunk in size. Not really too sure. We do know that these the Breckenridge pickles have shrunk in size, but it's been well over a year since this happened. Uh, they are 11 and a half ounces. I believe they used to be 14 or something like 14.5 uh, ounces or something. It used to be a bigger bottle. See, like this here, these are still the bigger ones. This is the bigger, this is 17 ounces. These are the spears, though. Uh, and they do have the bread butter chips. I've actually tried these before. Yeah, this is 17 ounces, too. Maybe I was just, uh, I don't know. Maybe I was just confused, because this is the one that I used to get. These are pretty good. Now, my favorite bread and butter chips are the ones from Meyer, the Meyer brand. Those are really good. These are okay, though. Well, look at this. I think it's funny. Even on the box set here, it says create a gift because, yeah, this is like super small here. But one thing I wanted to point out, the Mrs. Miller's, we got a lot of good comments on these. And, yeah, they are tiny. Um, I've only tried the grape. The grape was OK. I wasn't a huge fan, but I remember some people were talking about the strawberry jam. Um, but I have a bunch of strawberry jam at home. So but I remember other people were talking about the hot pepper jelly. So I'm going to buy this. Toward the end of the video here, I might take a little taste test, let you know what I think. Well, we remember when the uh, ramen noodles first went up to $1.25 of the five packs. Everybody thought it was a terrible deal a year ago. Now, a year later, we see the six packs at Kroger for $2 and then the six packs at Meyer for $2.19. So all of a sudden, the five pack for $1.25 isn't a bad deal anymore. More importantly, they have them. I, I swear they're usually very low or out. You get a lot of comments, people haven't been able to find ramen at Dollar Tree, probably because they're getting bought up. They always hit, or they also have the chow mein meals. We always get comments on here too. Um, yes, our Dollar Tree rarely ever has these. These fly off the shelves. Okay, so what is up with this improved recipe? Why did you mess with it? Let's see. Yes to the taste you love. No artificial colors. No high fructose corn syrup made with real buttermilk. Did this have high fructose corn syrup in it before? I don't ever remember this having that in there anyway. Did they just put that on there to make you feel like it's more healthy for you? Huh, I don't know. It's still eight ounces, so that's what we're looking at today is different sizes. Uh, and really, for eight ounces, that's not a bad deal because we've been seeing Kraft Ranch go to $2.99 for a 16-ounce bottle, some even higher, three seventy. dollars I saw one for three seventy nine dollars the other day. I was uh, crazy. Um, so if you bought two of these, it would be $2.50 and you would get the 16 ounces. They also have the French's yellow mustard here. Uh, we saw a 24 ounce uh, container of it at uh, Kroger for $3.49. This is eight ounces, so eight times three is 24. That would be, uh, let's see, $2.50, $3.75. So yeah, you would definitely pay more here. So this isn't as good of a deal. Somebody asked a while back about Louisiana hot sauce, and I mentioned check out Dollar Tree, and then the last couple of videos we did, we weren't able to find it here. So this stuff, pretty popular, I guess. It is six ounces, 
don't know if that's the same size it's always been i'm pretty sure it is uh, they do have the small containers of a1 here the thick and hardy they do not sell the original somebody asked about that no this this is the one they sell here at dollar tree so if you only like the original you're not going to be able to find it here they also have heinz 57 i used to love heinz 57 and i feel like they changed the ingredients on this um yeah i don't know also that has high fructose corn syrup in it so you want to watch it if you're like me and jess trying to trying to only buy things that don't have high fructose corn syrup in them uh, you definitely want to make sure and check all the ingredients one thing i will say about dollar tree spices here is yeah a lot of them are dollar 25 but you're getting more than even the ones you're going to get at walmart walmart's all the cheaper ones have gone up to a dollar 12 some even higher than that um, but a lot of these are a bigger size do have some that are smaller size but this is like chopped onion um got some garlic and pepper seasoning here that all that for a dollar 25 i don't feel like that's a bad deal at all and they got some more of the eat regal rice uh here got a lot of good comments on these someone said they didn't like the spanish rice they rarely ever have this one so i thought it was pretty popular maybe they just weren't getting it in but uh, i know some people are liking the jasmine rice here these are of course a dollar 25 doesn't look like this dollar tree has gone up yet uh in the the dollar tree value store or whatever they like to call it they do got the pampa wide uh wide egg noodles back in here we're getting some comments on these they're loaded down with rice this is the top seller here is the jasmine rice now this is one pound still yep one pound somebody was talking about the lentils I don't see them. Doesn't look like they have the lentils in, but someone was saying that they had shrunk in size from 16 ounces to 12 ounces. I was hoping to see that today, but uh, let's see. Um, I believe this is still a pound. It feels like a pound. Uh, oh, doesn't say anywhere. Oh yeah, here we go. Where it's hard to read, 12 ounces. Okay, now these were a pound before. These were one pound, so these have shrunk. These are 12 ounces. I did want to pick up the red kidney beans here too. Um, I know the black beans were, and this does feel like a smaller bag. You know, these were gone for the longest time, so I wonder if that's what they were doing. It's been a while since I saw that, but I did notice uh, these. I do believe these were a pound. Make sure you let me know down below if the red beans were a pound. I'm pretty sure they were. It does look like a different bag, smaller bag, but it wouldn't surprise me. And that is the same for the Great Northern Beans, 12 ounces. And for the Pinto Beans, these are still one pound. These are still one pound right here, 16 ounces. Okay, so I know these were a pound. Um, and somebody brought up something pretty interesting. Uh, you know, a lot of recipes and stuff that people have had over the years would require 16 ounces. So now you would have to buy two bags to get that right amount and you would probably have to weigh it out uh to figure that out i do not see any of the lentils anywhere i was hoping to see those because i i do know that those were a pound as well but now i can see that i think most of them are 12 ounces uh and this this might just be some of the old here they might have the newer ones coming in i'm not really too sure one to point out the nor pasta sides here though uh obviously a dollar 25 here um and $1.39 pretty much everywhere else in the city. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a better deal. Okay, so wanted to check, make sure all the coffee was still the same size. They have the Cafe, Cafe Moro here, still six ounces, $1.25. That's about as good of a deal as you're gonna get on that stuff, I think. Uh, ground coffee, they do have the Harry and David, but look at this, look at this little guy. I don't know what the size was before, but they have changed the packaging. This is way smaller than it used to be. Uh, the Velo, the Vanilla Cream Brulee, four ounces. Oof, I don't know. I don't know, guys. And if you feel it, see, they, they load it up with air there. See that? But really, get that down to the bottom there. That's about where it starts. So what is that? Two, maybe three pots of coffee? Maybe. It's an awful big bag here for six ounces of coffee the breakfast blend i have i don't think i've ever seen this at dollar tree sanko caribe caribe imported coffee Let's see where that goes about right there oh no that's i mean that's a better deal you're getting six ounces instead of 
uh, the four ounces here, but I know Harry and David is a good name brand. It's probably why they have shrunk in size, but yeah, no kidding. They didn't have us for a while. Um, but yeah, that is super tiny. They got this Junior's here. What is this? Junior's Brooklyn Blend. This is four ounces as well, so two, two pots of coffee. I don't know. Those look like they got more coffee in than they had the last time I was here. So they didn't have these the last time I was here, but this was something that somebody had mentioned that had shrunk in size. So I know what you're talking about, the the wider ones, and I haven't seen those. They're still not here. Of course, I was at the other Dollar Tree. Um, but this, has, this this is the one that comes with the, the little pretzel thing. So that's why it's a little smaller. But I know I was pointing that out the last time I was here, but they still don't have the bigger ones that you were talking about. But yes, those bigger ones have shrunk in size. Uh, let's see here. What is this? Well, I probably shouldn't touch this, but uh, got the Butcher Boy 100% coconut oil here. I am allergic to coconut, so put that back as far as possible. And here are some of the Modern Pantry milks that we've been getting comments on. Look, they got one of the older containers. Let's see when this expires. Okay, uh, it says best if used by June 3rd, 2024, so about six months. Uh, let's check the newer boxes. 425 2024 so not much there these are the same size as 32 ounces this is just the uh different kind of box and so maybe they're still making these for different ones this is the unsweetened that's the pantry fresh i think it's the same thing this is plant-based uh gluten-free that's the almond okay so okay so two different things there they also have the almond original i was a little confused uh, the Almond Original here, which we get some good comments on. This is uh, December 20th, 2023. Mm. Don't these usually extend out past a year? Okay. Oh, this is September 13th, 2023. So don't have, don't have long for that best if used by date. Good to see they got a lot of these coming back in, though. At the one we usually shop at, they've only had the 1%. Uh, they have the whole milk at this one, which we get the most comments on. This is May of 2024, so that's the longest date that we've seen so far. Well, they haven't taken them out of the box, but I noticed they have the one liter things of distilled white vinegar down here for $1.25. We've been seeing vinegar go up in price lately. Um, so they got some of the cherry pie filling here, the Mother's Made. It's an okay price, you know, kind of got a... Uh, Kind of got some different feelings about this. I know I've never tried this, but I know some, some people liked it. Some people didn't. That has a best of use by date of 2025. They've got these little teeny tiny things of sugar here. I almost thought they changed the box. The box has changed. The box is a lot smaller. It used to be it used to be the bigger box. Yeah, like this. And this is still 16 ounces. The box used to be like that. But this is the regular sugar. Uh, but they changed the box. It is now smaller. And so I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised in the future if this goes down less than a pound. So I think I found something here that is very worth $1.25. And I am going to buy a little dish towel here. How do I take my coffee? Seriously. Very seriously. Hey, they got this Jim Beam coffee back in here. Somebody was talking about. Oh, the shrink flated too. Dead gone. It's like they're all teaming up, guys. They're all teaming up. This is four ounces also. This used to be seven ounces. Seven ounces. The funny thing is, I think it was the same bag. Maybe a little bigger. But I do remember that being seven ounces. So, another strength flighted item. Things that we see disappear coming back at Dollar Tree. Not at a higher price. But less less uh, quantity. So, I don't know. I do feel like this is a good deal. The Libby's Chunk Pineapple here. You can tell this has got a good weight to it. A lot of water in it. But, I mean, most... Things pineapple do, but the Libby's pineapple is pretty good. I would rate this just under Dole. Dole's about all I buy anymore, but I would buy Libby's. And for $1.25, that's a good deal. Uh, let's see. Best if used by... We get a lot of requests to check some of the dates, so here we are. October of 2025. So you got some long shelf life for that one. So here we have a bunch of Star Kiss tuna, and I want to show you guys something here. If this is, is this the albacore? No. Okay, listen. Ready? It didn't use sound like that, guys. It didn't, and you can feel. Like, I, and I know somebody was saying it's five ounces drained, four ounces, but I'm going to tell you, like, I had a thing of Star Kiss the other day, and it was like nothing. I don't know. It had been a while before that since I've had a can of Star Kiss, but 
yeah that's way way too much water in there so i did bring up a point uh also one of our longtime viewers and i meant to mention this the other day uh he bought a i think it was a 24 pack of bumblebee tuna uh and it ended up being 67 cents a can it was like 16 dollars and two cents uh on amazon so check amazon that's a good deal 67 cents a piece for bumblebee so that's a good deal check out amazon if you use amazon uh and thank you for letting me know that i got the chunk light tuna other oh, bumblebee oh not as much i expect more tuna is going to be in this so listen listen real carefully see it's more of a you can feel this i know you can't feel it but it feels more solid and listen to this again lots of water i would definitely get the bumblebee if i'm going to pay a dollar 25 anyway if sardines are your thing, I don't know if I would recommend this. I don't know. Let me know if you've ever tried this. I know my brother likes sardines. I don't know if he would even like this. He likes them in like the packs like this. These look like they've shrunk too. Look how tiny these are. I don't know if there's less in here, but this is definitely smaller uh, than some of the other ones we've seen lately. 3.75 ounces. Let's see. Okay, they do have a good variety here. Um, they have the mackerel. Somebody a while back was commenting on mackerel and said that it shrunk in size here at uh, Dollar Tree. And you know what? I do remember them being like the bigger cans. So I think so. A lot of water in that. Uh, it says 10 ounces, but I think most of that weight's going to be water. Um, let's see. June 17th, 2025. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know it does look like a smaller can and they do have the pampa regular sardines and brine here and then they've got the big vienna armor bites uh or the armor vienna bites here again i don't know i when i get these now i usually get the brookdale from uh from aldi i think they've gone up again i bought up a bunch of them when they were 64 cents a can but i think they're up to 70 cents a can again I know we had one or two people that commented that they liked this Southgate chili, and I know we had a bunch of people that commented they didn't like it. Well, I did try it, guys. It may be some of the worst chili I've ever had. Oh, Kitchen Classics, how you failed me. Hmm. Something else, guys, if you've seen our video the other day, you will know that I am pretty disappointed in these. Not much uh, stuff in them anymore. This, oh, wow, and that's even a less date than the ones I have that I bought a while ago. This is good until 24. I, I have some that are good until 26. Listen to that. Yep. See, I, I, I'm not getting any more. With the ones that I have, I will be doing like some people said. I kind of do that anyway. Add like some rice or some other noodles. Because that's another thing. It's not a lot of noodles. You would think that they, you know, if they're going to take out chicken, if they're going to take out a lot of the chicken, at least add some more noodles. There was barely any noodles in the ones I had the other day. Uh, they do have the chicken noodle, 25% bigger cans, and the 30% bigger tomato soup. Better deal to get it here for $1.25 than the shrink, than the small 10.5 ounce cans at Kroger. And the ones at Kroger are $1.29, so you're paying more and getting less. Uh, somebody asked about the Frank's Red Hot again. I did try this during one of our live shows that we had a while back. Uh, like I had said in that, I would try this without the can i did not care too much for the can it was okay but if you, my honest opinion i would rather have a can of regular spaghettios and then just add a little bit of frank's red hot to it i think that would be better we did get some pretty good comments on the neostar canned fruits um dollar 25 yeah if it's any good that's a good deal uh more of the libby's right here and then down here we've got the goya mean still a dollar 25 uh, pretty much a dollar fifty or more anywhere else you go. Uh, you do have a smaller selection, but they got the garbanzos, the pinto, red beans, the small red beans, which are really good, uh, and the black beans, which are really good. Dollar twenty-five a can. Again, you're saving twenty-five cents pretty much any here more than anywhere else. Kroger, they're a dollar fifty, and I have a feeling these are going to be going up. Hey, they got in the the Greta crackers here. Somebody hit, or a few of our long, couple of our longtime viewers, I remember, were uh, starting up a comment about these and how much you liked them. Um, yeah, I've never seen them here. It says new on there, um, but I don't know. Probably new size or something. I don't know. But these are crackers with garden vegetables. Got so many good comments. I'm going to try them. 
maybe use the little uh, spicy jelly that I have. And again, I will put this at the end of the video and let you know what I think. Looks like they got the Bud's Best Vanilla Wafer Cookies back in. I remember the last time we were talking about these. Yeah, they're only six ounces, but it is only $1.25. It's not like the 11 ounce size of the Nilla Wafers by Nabisco, but Nabisco is $4.99 a box for uh, 11 ounces. And I tried these guys. I know we had some bad comments on them, but I, I thought they were pretty good. I remember a while back when we were talking about the Lance Cracker Shrink Flating here at uh, Dollar Tree. But if you see how expensive they've gotten at Kroger and Meyer and everywhere else now, yeah, $1.25. You know, if you bought two of these, it would be the seven ounce equivalent of what those are, and you would get 12 ounces. So that's definitely a better deal now. So something that hasn't shrink flated, and I noticed they got it back in here. Guys, I really like this too. This uh, Island Choice Diced Fruit Cocktail, $1.25 still, same size can, 15 ounces. Yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, so this kind of drew my attention here. So I noticed it because it said new on it. I remember somebody talking about these. These are 16 ounces. Let me know down in the comments. Then these used to be 20 ounces. I know the boxes were bigger, and I think it was either 20 or 24 ounces. Let me know down in the comments. I'm just kind of walking by and looking at things that are actually worth $1.25. Look at this. That's a pretty big coffee mug. You guys know I love my coffee mugs. Let's see. Spring Gardens, Flower Market, Seed, Stems, and Blooms. I like that. Yeah. I think I'm going to get that. So, yes, this Dollar Tree has not gone to the dollar value. Um, some of the stuff that was mixed in at the other Dollar Tree, some of the more expensive garbage bags I noticed were $5. They do not have any of those here. I do kind of like walking in here knowing that everything in this store is $1.25, but that's not the case with most of them now. Um, do you got different garbage bags here? I'm looking to see if any of them is shrunk. Uh, this is still the 13 bags, kitchen drawstring. Uh, these are the 13 gallons. 13 gallons there, $1.25 for 13 bags. Got some of the Good Sense drawstring. That's a good brand. Good Sense makes uh, Good Sense products. <laughs> uh, let's see, these are 30 gallon, 30 gallon bags. You only get six of them, but I don't know. We got to pay attention to all this stuff, I guess, these days, not just food. Some of this stuff I don't feel like is too bad, especially for Glad products. We've been seeing this stuff like skyrocketing in price. Um, yeah, you only get 22 of the snack bags here, but again, that's the price. And then you got the 10 gallon storage bags here for that price. So yeah, I don't know if that's as good of a deal as this one. Uh, and they do have, okay, so here's 40 zipper bags. Look at that, they're not very wide, right? They can't be wide. And then I'd almost rather just get this one or two of these, I don't know. And plus glad, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know, let me know if you use the SureFresh brands. Let me know if the seals, get, usually on the really cheap ones, it's really hard to get that seal. It'll be really thin. I've, I've had these kind of break on me sometimes. I've never used this kind, but I've used cheap ones before. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I like it to, you know, if I got to work at it for 10 minutes and that's too much. All kinds of cool things for $1.25 here though. I uh, will say a lot of the food, a lot of new things that we've seen shrink today in the food supply, but these have not shrunk. Uh, <laughs> chilling and grilling, I like that. Let's see, we got another one down here. It looks pretty cool in like a mason jar. Cold drinks, good eats, and barbecue. It's all you need in life. Let's see, my favorite people have Paul's. <laughs> I know these are like, you know, little ideas. Jessica is like a crafter, so she finds all kinds of uses for these kind of things. $1.25 for that, it feels like a great deal. Some of these things too, you get like little two packs somewhere to put all your pins and stuff like that too. And uh, different containers. We'll have stacks of things like these. She actually bought, she got a good deal on like two like tower stacks of these off of Amazon. I think they were $15 a piece, but there's like five, five of these in each. They're a lot bigger than this. And we've been using them to store like snacky foods or just food because we're running out of space. We need to, we need to get a bigger place. Um, they even have some pretty solid ones here too. Yeah. I'll have to let her know about these. I don't know if she knew these were here. So I came back into the food aisle here. I had to get out of here for a second. This uh, aisle was pretty packed. Didn't want to get anybody's way, but I saw this here, the Premier Pantry. Somebody was really talking this up one time. It's been a long time. It says 25% more, but I don't know what it was before. This is eight ounces. 
Uh, and it says you just add beef, so I guess it's some kind of just noodles, pasta, and a creamy white sauce. Got some good comments on that a while back. Never tried it. I have never seen this at our Dollar Tree, so I don't know if it's just started coming back in. We're seeing that with a lot of products lately. We saw that at Meyer. Meyer's starting to get in things they haven't had for over two years. Got some comments on the Suddenly Salads here. These are 3.7 ounces. Uh, the ones you get at Kroger are bigger than this. I think they're like 7 ounces, but I don't know what they are now. I think they're $2.49, so really if you bought two of these... It's close to the same price. Or no, that, they, that was at Walmart. Walmart, we were figuring, because it was $2.49 for the 7-ounce. Uh, so it, Walmart's still a little bit of a better deal, but it comes out to pretty close to the same amount. Next time you come to Dollar Tree, if you see, if you like the Pioneer Brown Gravy Mix, you may want to buy this here because these have been going up in price everywhere. Even the McCormick ones, I feel like all gravy packets are going up in price. We saw them for $1.44 at Walmart. At Walmart for McCormick. That's like the cheapest on earth. Uh, <laughs> they do have the country gravy mix here as well. And again, I don't know what this one is, but I know this one has been going up in price. So, might want to look into that. Got the little, uh, these are kind of hit or miss with people. I, I feel like some people love these pizza crusts. Some people say they're the worst pizza crust ever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look bad. We did get good comments on these little Del Burritos here. The Tortilleria, Tortilleria, they are soft. They're nice and soft, I will say that. These are 14.6 ounces. Uh, 22 of them for that price there. Look at this. They got their lasagna back in, guys. Wow, people have been asking about this probably since I started the channel. Has it always been 12 ounces? I don't know. It's the first time I've seen lasagna noodles at Dollar Tree in probably well over a year, probably longer. Uh, they do have the spaghetti here. Now, this is 20 ounces still. Uh, $1.25, I mean, that's a good deal. We've had Columbia spaghetti. It's okay. It ain't the best, but it is definitely, you definitely get a lot for your money. One thing is for sure, I know these shrunk in size. Look at this. <laughs> oh, these have shrunk like crazy. I, mean, I guess they have to, you know, or they would have to charge a higher price. I, I don't know. I mean, these are good, but yeah, that is uh, pretty tiny. Four ounces. Well, look at this. They got the little very fine juices back in. I haven't seen these in forever. I remember last year, people were asking about these with kids going back to school. They got them back in here, $1.25. Another product that's coming back in. They are 4.23 ounces. I don't know, they actually look a little smaller than they used to be, but I'm not really sure. Let me know down in the comments if you know. But they are starting to get them back in. They have had the Jamex uh, mango ones here. But yeah, I haven't seen the very fine ones in a long time. Okay, so I am back from Dollar Tree. One thing I like about these crackers, these Greta crackers, Greta, Greta, however you like to say that, they're individually wrapped, so they'll stay fresh for a good long time. I'm excited for these. I wonder, like, because it said new on them, I don't, I wonder if I got the wrong ones. I remember somebody asking about Greta crackers a while back, said they were really good. So here's the cracker. I'm going to try a little taste of the cracker just to get the taste of that, and then we'll add this aunt miller's uh hot pepper jelly so that's good tastes fresh i can taste the olive oil it's got like a garden vegetable flavor to it really nice now there we go oh that does smell a little warm now i will say this is a very little tiny bit of jelly here but We'll see here how it is. I got a pretty good amount on here. I hope this isn't stupid hot. There we go. Got the hot jelly on there. Somebody on the channel was raving about that. Really good. Really good. I can taste... Oh yeah, no corn syrup in this either. Uh, it is sugar, apple cider, vinegar, jalapeno peppers. I can I can taste the jalapeno a little bit. Red bell peppers, green and green bell peppers, 
uh, and citric acid. It's not hot at all. It, it is not hot. I will say it has a great flavor. But yeah, there's no heat to it at all. Unless I just didn't get one of the uh, little peppers. But I'm pretty sure they're all throughout. Also, they got the California Gold Prune Juice. I remember one of our longtime viewers was talking about this. Have not seen it at our Dollar Tree. So I'm going to wash it down with this. Try this out. I like prune juice. That's all right. You gotta really like prune juice, though. Uh, it's okay. I think it needs to be a little colder. It was in the refrigerated area, but it wasn't that cold. So, I'll get it cold. Enjoy California Gold Function prune juice. It's the sweet and convenient way to support digestive health. So, uh, Dollar Tree, that Dollar Tree is converting into a Dollar Tree Plus. I talked with somebody who worked there. Um, they were just adding in the three, four, and five dollar products into the freezer. I wasn't able to go over those because there was a lot of people over there. And um, yeah, it's turning in. They said they had some toys that they're starting to put up that are five dollars. He did tell me though that these are all products that they haven't carried. These aren't products that are going up in price. These are new products that they're bringing in. Just other options. I hope that this isn't where it starts and that they start raising prices and turn into uh, another family dollar or something because family dollars prices are starting to get pretty expensive. We will visit family dollar uh, here soon. Well, thank you all so much for watching the video today. I hope it helps. I'm going to put a video right here if you would like to learn more about what's going on with a lot of manufacturers, people making these products, people that are shrinking these products. Make sure you check the video out right here. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there.